Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Hope you're having a lovely 2022. And in today's video, we're going to be doing an introduction to animation. It's going to be a short, concise video of me showing you how to do this. And it's actually going to be way more simpler than you think. But before we start, a quick shout out to Sauce and Chips, who is a member on my Discord server, who is highly active most of the time. And if you want to get chatted out just like Sauce and Chips, then make sure to go to the link in the description and join my Discord server. And also, make sure you like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. We're on the we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers by the end of 22. So all you have to do is press that red button. It helps a lot. And yeah, let's begin. Okay, so to begin, first of all, we're just going to open a base plate. Once you're in your base plate, it should look something like this. We can begin animating. So we're gonna get rid of the spawn point and we're going to go to plugins. You're going to need this um, plugin called Rig Builder. And if you don't have it, make sure to go to the description and grab it from there. Once you have Rig Builder, uh, build rig, you just click on it. Next, we're going to use the animation editor plugin. This automatically comes with Roblox Studio, so you don't need to worry about going into the descri description to grab it. So just click on this. Um, let's drag it up here. Uh, and let's make this a bit bigger. And then let's get rid of the output to make save a little bit more space. And then you're just gonna click on this um, rig here and it will pop up with an animation name. And for this, I'm just gonna call this way uh, sorry my mic is literally in front of my keyboard so it's, I have to like reach around I'm just gonna call this waving dummy create and now we are in the animation so anything we move will now be registered as a keyframe and then we can make our animation just like that okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a simple wave of course you can make anything you like but I'm just gonna start off like this Okay, that's gonna be starting keyframe, and then we're gonna go over to the ninth frame, or whatever you want. I'm just gonna drag it up here. This is gonna be very helpful. Make sure you go to model, rotate and move, and uncheck, so you can uh, move and rotate the arms on any, uh, on any, there's no like grid, there's no snap to grid, it's just very smooth. Okay, so we're just going to uh, move this down a little bit. And then I'm going to select the the, the, the the body part, so the the was it's the right upper arm, so just that bit there, and we're going to move that up with the move with the rotate tool. Move that up just like that. And as you can see, if I was to put the um, if I was to put the road if I was to put the rotate thing on, and I was to put it to like 50 degrees, let's say, look what would happen if I tried to rotate this it would be like a very slow snap to grid look at this just like that just like that just like that but if i uncheck it it's very smooth and you can do it to whatever you want okay so that looks that looks good just like that um that's our waving animation and i just want to make it i want to make a few more waves in it so i'll just select this again if i can and then I'll just drag it down. And then I can copy these keyframes by right clicking and pressing copy selected or control C. And then I'll go over here and then I'll paste them around here, control V. So just like that, but it's a bit, it's a bit too fast. So I'm just going to drag them if I can, drag them over there. But you know actually what I'm going to do? I'm going to delete these and I'm actually going to move the whole arm. So let's just bring this down again and bring this is all within the same keyframe. Keyframe, uh, move this right here. So you got the waving animation there. Um, and we're going to copy these keyframes, uh, paste them over here and then copy these keyframes and paste them over here. So something, at least by the end, it should be something like this. Which is absolutely horrific. The animation is horrible. I've never done animating in, like, in a long time. Well, I'm not very good at it, let's say. 
so yeah of course if you practice you're gonna get better and hopefully you end up a bit better than me so let's just play the animation and uh yep and for that actually i'm gonna remove this i'm actually gonna make a new keyframe and i'm just gonna remove i'm gonna move all the hand all the way down to the side of the body so just rotate this like that Ro no didn't mean to do that Control z to undo and then move it all the way back down again and then I can move this there we go and then we can play this and as you can see we've got a nice wavy animation and once it's done it returns to the um, it returns to the starting position which is the side of the body and of course, if you want to repeat this, you can press this toggle a looping animation and it will loop the animation, just like that. But in this case, I don't want that. All right, so next what we want to do is we actually want to add a little bit more kick because as you can see, it looks a bit dull as a, with a linear motion. So to do this, we can just select all the keyframes that we want to actually ease. And then we're gonna go to easing style and I'm gonna choose cubic and then for um, easing direction I'm going to do in out so let's see how this looks now that still doesn't look amazing it doesn't look too good as that's not really what a wave animation looks like let's try out and now let's try in I don't really like any of them, but I'm just gonna take a minute to fiddle around with what looks nice, and then when I'm done, I'll tell you. Well, it actually looks like that's the only kind of um, animations they have. So I guess the best one we have to stick with is cubic. At least it's not that bad. We can just change the easing direction back to in out. And actually, that doesn't look too bad by the end of it. At least it's better than uh, elastic okay so now I have my animation it looks quite nice just like that and now what I need to do is I need to export the animation so to do this I'm just gonna click on these three dots over here I'm gonna click on save quickly just save it quickly and then I'm gonna click 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 not kick I'm going to click on set animation priority core and then I'm going to publish to roblox yeah that's weird there were, i swear there used to be an export button so just press publish to roblox yeah there we go exact same thing and then you've got your title waving dummy and then you can add a description for example this is a waving dummy he is very stupid there um and then you can just you know leave that and then just press submit and then it should upload and it should say successfully submitted. If it says anything different, like an error, just try changing the, the title of your animation or try changing the description. Mainly, the reason it doesn't work is because it doesn't go through the moderation properly. So now what we need to do is we need to get the ID of it. So just so we're here where it says ID, just press copy button and it should say ID copied. And then we can press close. And now we can close up the animation editor like that. Uh, and now we have our thingy back and now let me just add my output back there we go all right now we can delete the dummy and now we can go down to start a player start a character scripts add in a local script and then we can start to actually do the coding um, and before we do that go into the local script add in an animation call the animation waving well let's just call it wave how about that no that's the animation id for the animation you want to go to name and you want to say a wave and then for the animation id you want to paste in the id that you just copied just like that and there we go we have the animation wave done and now we can start coding so it's actually quite a short piece of code and it's quite easy so just local U uis which stands for user input service is equal to game colon get service user input service and then we're going to go down we're going to do local whoops local character is equal to game dot workspace colon wait for child 
and then we're gonna do game dot players dot local player dot name we're gonna go down and then we're gonna reference our wave so we're gonna do local wave is equal to character character colon wait for child humanoid and then colon load animation inside for the parameters we're going to put script colon wait for child wave just like that and we have our animation referenced And now we can begin the user input service. So when we press a button, we want the animation to start. So let's say I want to press the W key. Well, not the W key, because that's movement. Let's say I want to press the B key. B key, right? Or actually the R key. Let's say I want to press the R key. If I press the R key, uh, I want the animation to play. Um, so pretty much your wave. And that's quite easy. We're just going to do UIS dot input began colon connect to the function and then for the parameters we're just going to put uh we're just going to put input just like that and then i'm going to do if input dot key code is equal equal to enum dot key code dot and then this is where you can put any uh letter you want so let i want to put the letter I just want to put the letter R so if we press R key the animation should play and then we're gonna say then gonna go down and then we'll say and then we're gonna reference our wave animation let's we'll say wave colon play brackets and that is it so pretty much when we spawn in the game and we press R key the animation should play so let's go ahead and test it out okay so we're in the game let's go ahead and press R key as you can see the animation is a bit lagged because we actually use a an r15 but this is r6 but of course if you if remember the point is it works and if you don't want this glitching to occur uh, occur then make sure when you're actually creating the animations 